Hi there, and welcome to my course, Introduction to Data Analysis with R. My name is Yannick Buhr, and I will be your guide today. If you want to find out more about myself, you can check out my website, jmbuhr.de. I am a computational biochemist, and I'm currently at the Heidelberg Institute for Theoretical Studies in the group of Professor Dr. Frauke Greta, where we are investigating how collagen behaves under stress by simulating and calculating things. Um, now, if you're watching this, you are interested in this course and you are either not or you are a student of biochemistry at Heidelberg University. Um, but both are fine because the examples we will be using, the particular data sets we will be using are not focused on biochemistry. So they are more general things like penguins, we'll talk about penguins, or music data from Spotify. And this is because I want to keep this whole thing transferable. We want to focus on learning how to analyze data without a special regard for the type of data. And this allows us to focus more on these statistics and learning the programming skills required. In terms of prior knowledge, um, there's no prior knowledge necessary. There's some prerequisites with regards to software, which I didn't put up on the website here. And this is why I'm making this a welcome video. Uh, first things, we want to download the R programming language, which is the engine which will run our code and do our, our analysis. And for this, head over to rproject.org. And then you can find the button here, which is download R. And then you get to this confusing website called Cran Mirrors. And this is because the, um, the source code for R or the program you want to download is actually stored on different servers around the world so you can access, access it faster. So you can either choose the one which is closest to you, for example, because we are in, in Germany here, for example, we can download it from, uh, from Göttingen, for example, or from Nuremberg, or we simply choose the cloud one, which is hosted by RStudio. Um, which is stored a bit around the world. And then you choose your operating system and download R from there. For example, I'm on Linux, I would download it from here. If you're on Mac OS or Windows, you would download it via one of these links. The next thing we need is RStudio. So for this, head over to rstudio.com and then check out on products, the RStudio IDE. And we scroll down here, we want RStudio desktop, it will run on your, your computer and then download a studio desktop some some things to click we just want the free version um, we're not doing anything big and commercial things and then you choose the operating system you have windows mac os or linux for example download it and install it and after this you should have r and studio installed if you open up whatever you use to start your um, programs um, and search for example for r you will find this R shortcut and this R studio thing. Um, this one, the like main R programming language, we always never want to open on its own. This will just open it in a terminal, which can be quite scary at first because it's just text-based. And this is the engine behind what we will do. So you can check if it's running co correctly to just calculate, for example, one plus one, and we get two. If you close this up again, what we will we'll be using instead is our studio, which will have this kind of logo with the blue one. And this is more like what you will see. Again, we have this R console here as well, but we have more stuff around, which we will talk about in the first lecture. So I'll see you then.